Hello, hello, good morning. There's been some significant changes overnight. I was just getting up, getting my first coffee. It's just uh, it's before seven o'clock in the morning here and uh, so has the life come on. And uh, here we see that the lava river that was feeding the lavas downhill for the last for the last few days has kind of stopped feeding, at least on the surface. But uh, there has been a breach in the cone and let me zoom in here. So this bit here has broken out of the wall. There's a breach and the lava is now moving more towards the west and flowing around. This is actually the area where we've been yesterday sampling lava. It's now flooded um, with uh, new lava. So we can't go there anymore right now. And there's a new arm coming down here. So this changes everything. I uh, was thinking about going to a place on the east side today, but maybe it requires a change of plan going to the west side, meaning approaching the lava actually from this side here, rather than coming from this side. So the cone itself has now this big gap and uh, the pressure inside was obviously too big. So yesterday already the intensity picked up. We saw this in the late afternoon and uh, the pressure inside was obviously too strong to hold, um, to be contained. And so this bit here broke out, out of the wall and um, very fascinating developments. Okay, good. So this must happen very recently, just overnight in the early hours of the morning, I presume. Uh, more details later on. So thanks, Mill. And all the very best.